Welcome to the XLite User Accounts Walkthrough. This guide will go over setting up user groups and user accounts for the XLite software. First, we will go over the difference between a user and user group, how to create both, and then how to set user authority or permissions. First, we start by creating a user group. A user group can be used to create permission levels and rights that can be shared across multiple users. For instance, if a business wants to create users for their employees that can only watch live video, they can create a single user group that multiple users can then be added to for quick and easy setup. Start by clicking on the setting icon to enter the setting menu. Click on user management. Then click on user group. To create a new user group, start by pressing the edit mode button. Several buttons will appear. Press the add button to add a new user group. A new window will appear. Enter a name for the user group and give it a short description, then press save. The newly created user group will appear in the list. Now we must define the permissions or authority for this user group. Begin by clicking edit mode, then clicking on the user group in the list which will now be highlighted in red. The function authority list will appear on screen. These functions refer to various operations in the XLite software. The query column allows you to set permissions for the user group to be able to solely view those sections of the software. The maintain column allows you to set permissions for the user group to edit in those parts of the software. Left click in each box to check what authority you wish to set. Then click Update to save the changes. Now the device authority must be set for the user group. This allows you to define which devices that the user group has permission to view. Start by pressing Device Authority. You will see a list of the devices added to XLite. The device list will present a view and a playback column. View means they can only view live streaming from the device. Playback means the user can also playback recorded data. Select which device authority to give the group by left clicking in each box, then press Update to save. Now that we have created a user group, we can move on to create individual users. Start by clicking on User Account. A new window will appear. Enter a name for the user, enter a password twice to confirm, then use the drop-down box to select a user group. In this case, we will select the viewer user group we created in the previous steps. This means that the user we are creating here will have the permissions we set up previously under the group settings. When you are done entering all information, click Save to enter. The newly created user will appear in the user account list. To switch between users, use the log out button. This will return you to the main login screen where the new user can now log in. Thank you for watching. For more information about XLite, you can view the rest of the videos in the XLite Training Guide series.